Continue our coverage now on how the Bay Area is bouncing back through the power of education. San Jose State's aviation program offers the only four-year degree in aviation on the West Coast. Now, it's designed to prepare students for a wide range of jobs in the oppor or job opportunities in the industry, including commercial pilots and even air traffic controllers. Teaching facilities are located near several flight schools where students can get additional training. The college aviation program has multiple flight simulators, including one machine with so-called motion control. Among the faculty, there are instructors with real world experience, such as pilots and airport management workers. Students say that they are enthusiastic about the program and where it could potentially lead them. It's really teaching me how to become a dynamic aviator and really um, in the aviation industry outside of just textbook learning. So I feel like I'm getting textbook learning, the academic side of things, but real application um, with the professors coming from the different backgrounds of airlines, management, airport management. I feel like I'm really getting a good training experience. Well, you can see we have like state-of-the-art tech, uh, technology and simulators um, to give us as close as possible experience to being in a cockpit without actually being in the cockpit. Um, and then aside from the classes at SJSU, we've got like Trade Winds Aviation, which is associated with our school, where we actually go ahead and, and get to fly in the planes and get uh, real flight hours. Now, the San Jose State Aviation Program began in 1965. It's now based at a 10,000 acre site on the edge of Reed Hillview Airport. And this Bay Area based program is ranked as the best of its kind on the West Coast and number four nationally. Joining us now is Professor Fred Perez, Chair, in aviation, uh, Chair of the Aviation and Technology Department over at San Jose State University. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning to, to you. Here. <laughs> Let's take a, I have a quick question for you, actually. What are some of the career options for graduates of the San Jose State Aviation Program? I'm pleased to tell you that 90% of our graduates find their jobs in a related field in the industry. Uh, most, of course, they are interested in becoming pilots, but majority are becoming pilots, commercial pilots for various airlines. In addition to that, they are going to be involved in management of airports, and we are very pleased to tell you that many of the regional airports in the Bay Area are being supervised by the graduates of our program at San Jose State University. I absolutely love knowing that. Now, for students who pursue a professional flight track, how many of those actually decide to go into corporate flying or even the airlines for that matter? Um, based on my data that we have collected, close to 70% they become commercial pilots for various airlines, including Southwest, American, United, and Delta. Amazing. All right. Well, we know that only 4.6% of airline pilots are females. So do you have programs aimed at getting more women into aviation? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, that's one of the things we are doing right now. We have faculty members, uh, some female faculty members that are becoming role models for our program. We participate at uh, local airport days at various airports, and the students are really becoming interested. Parents are coming in with their uh, daughters and they're interested in becoming pilots. So yes, we are putting a lot of emphasis on motivating the young ladies to become pilots of the future. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate you spending time with us this morning. What an amazing program we have. Professor Fred Barris, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. All right. Bye -bye, well, the SJSU Aviation Department will be participating in Airport Day later this month. That actually happens on Saturday, September 23rd at the Reed Hillview Airport and the next day at Hayward Executive Airport. Now, as a female aviator here in the Bay Area, oh, I just love spending my time up in the sky. <laughs> I fly both for the military and for fun on the side, too. I was just up yesterday actually flying over the Golden Gate Bridge. It's such an important opportunity to get more women into aviation. There's programs widespread throughout the Bay Area. I'm a part of the 99s, which is an organization that really promotes women young and old to just have that mentorship and have a lot of people to surround yourself with. You know, I'm the only female pilot at my military unit right now. The only one. I'm the only wow. one. And it makes me so sad that we don't see those numbers higher, especially in the military too. I'm, and I know it's a male dominant industry, but there's something about it that just makes me want to get out there, go into classrooms, let little girls know you could do it and you could still Absolutely. do whatever you want to on the side, full time, but 
aviation's pretty amazing. It really builds that confidence for and those I, kids. And I love seeing all those photos of you. I didn't realize how many young women were pilots until I met you and I started following you on Instagram and I see all the cool posts that you put up there. Yeah. I mean, obviously to see you serving our country mm -hmm. in uniform, but then just to see you having fun with your girlfriends. You know, we're just flying over the Golden <laughs> Gate. No biggie. No, that was our Wednesday setup. <laughs> and I'm so proud of you, but also I do love having the bragging right. Like I got a friend who's flying right now in a US military helicopter over the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. I just, that's bragging rights for all of it. Yeah. And really the proof, like rising water floats all ships and it's so nice to be a part of and see your journey. Absolutely. And girls are watching you right now, Jess. Right like now. Like young women. Well, so you are that example. Reach out and come fly involved. with me then. I really want to see those numbers get higher. I mean, we talked about it, 4.6% in airlines right now. That's how many women wow. there are. It's low. We need to see that change. But So when you're not flying, yes. you're doing the weather. And I right am. now we need to know what's going on I with know, the Bay Area weather.